Random Number Generation in Computer Languages. This video is based on a research on the applications of random numbers and how to generate integer and real valued pseudo random numbers in different programming languages using their standard libraries. We have also done a small survey of the underlying algorithms used to generate random numbers in popular implementations of these languages. First of all, let's try to understand what randomness is. Randomness in computer science is a very useful concept. It has many applications in fields such as gambling, computer simulation which involves in simulating various complex real-world phenomena, statistical sampling which is selecting random samples from in larger datasets, cryptography for generating in data encryption keys, completely randomized design and many other areas where a random output is useful in producing an unpredictable result. But how does a predictable machine like a computer generate randomness? Computers provide randomness via outputting random numbers. But again, how does a predictable machine like a computer generate an unpredictable random number? Computers use random number generators or RNGs to output random numbers. There are two types of random number generators. True random number generators, TRNGs and pseudo-random number generators, PRNGs. In our research, we focused on pseudo-random number generators, but it would be useful to have an idea about true random number generators as well. So let's take a minute and talk about how true random number generators work. True random number generators extract randomness from physical phenomena in and introduce it into a computer. You can simply imagine this as a die connected to a computer. But typically people use a physical phenomenon that is easier to connect to a computer than a die. There are many other ways to get true randomness into your computer. A couple of very widely used methods of TRNGs are using radioactive sources and atmospheric noise. When it comes to using radioactive sources, the points in time at which a radioactive source decays are completely unpredictable and they can be they can quite easily be detected and fed into a computer avoiding any buffer mechanisms in the operating system making it a pretty good TRNG the other famous TRNG mechanism is implemented by using atmospheric noise generated from natural phenomena such as thunderstorms this can be detected by a simple radio receiver connected to a computer okay that's it about TRNGs as you can see true random numbers are generated with the use of an external device connected to a computer. So let's now look at our key topic, pseudo-random numbers. Robert R. Koweyu of Oak Ridge National Laboratory once titled an article, The generation of random numbers is too important, important to be left to chance. If you think for a moment, you'd understand why pseudo-random number generators are important. So, pseudo-random number generators. As the word pseudo suggests, pseudo-random numbers are not random in the way you might expect. A pseudo-random number generator, or a PRNG, is an algorithm for generating a sequence of numbers that approximates the properties of random numbers. The sequence is not truly random in that it is completely determined by a relatively small set of initial values, called PRNG states. Essentially, PRNGs are algorithms that use mathematical formula or simply pre-calculated tables to produce sequences of numbers that appear random. A good example of a PRNG is the linear congruential method. A good deal of research has gone into pseudo-random number theory and modern algorithms for generating pseudo-random numbers are so good that the numbers look exactly like they were really random. Although sequences that are closer to truly random can be generated using hardware random number generators, pseudo-random numbers are important in practice of simulations and are central in practice of cryptography and procedural generation. Common classes of these algorithms are linear congruential generators, lagged Fibonacci generators, linear feedback shift registers, feedback with carry shift registers and generalized feedback shift registers. Recent, recent instances of pseudo-random algorithms include Blum Blum Sharp, Fortuna, 
and the famous Mersenne Twister which is used in languages like Python. A random programmer once said pseudo random number generators vary greatly in quality. Some are horrible, some are extraordinary, but none are true. This humorous yet very true saying gives us a very good insight about pseudo random number generators. Although pseudo random numbers are being used for many purposes, careful mathematical analysis is required to have any confidence a PRNG generates numbers that are sufficiently random to suit the intended use. In reality, most random numbers used in computer programs are pseudo random, which means they are generated in a predictable fashion using a mathematical formula. This is fine for many purposes, but as we discussed, it may not be random in the way you expect if you are used to dice rolls and lottery drawings. When discussing single numbers, a random number is one, of, one that is drawn from a set of possible values, each of which is a equally probable. Uniform distribution, when discussing a sequence of numbers, each number drawn must be statistically independent of others. So now we will pick a couple of widely used languages and see how random numbers are being generated in these languages. We will also try to give an in-depth overview on the underlying algorithms used to generate random numbers in these languages. Let's now look at C and C++. In C and C++, pseudo-random integers distributed uniformly or semi-uniformly along the range 0 to some value rand max can be generated by calling the rand function. While on some platforms there are functions that return better sequences of pseudo-random values, one advantage of using rand function is that it's specified in the NCISO C standard. Thus, code that uses it will be more portable than code, code that uses alternatives such as random function or members of the RAND48 family such as LRAND48 or DRAND48. Even though NCC requires the existence of a function RAND that generates sequences of pseudo-random integers, it leaves the particular algorithms to be used unspecified. However, it does give the following portable sample implementation using a linear congruential generator. In the GNU C library, both RAND and random functions share the same underlying implementation. 